Hello, this is Daniel Patterson. I'm a senior multi-cloud architect at VMware, and today we're going to talk about connecting Google Cloud VMware Engine workloads to Google Cloud SQL. We'll use this diagram to keep our bearings in a typical Google Cloud VMware Engine deployment, and we'll focus on services that are deployed within this green box. We won't deep dive into many of these components. I primarily want to highlight where our Cloud SQL instance lives. I do expect that you've already deployed your Google Cloud VMware Engine environment and that you've already deployed a VM or container workload within your private cloud. I also expect that you've configured private services access between the customer VPC and the shared VPC managed by Google. Let's take a look at our private services access connection. In my case, I have a few VPC networks, but for the demo today, MCA VPC demo is our customer VPC. From here, I can navigate to the private service connection tab and see that I already have an allocated IP range. I can also navigate to the private connections to services tab and see that I have a connection that's already using that allocation. It's worth mentioning that the name of this allocation has Cloud SQL in the name. If I were deploying more managed Google services, then I would want to name this something more generic. For now, take note of the IP address that's listed here. So back to our diagram. In addition to private services access, I also expect that you've already deployed the private connection between your Google Cloud VMware Engine private cloud and the private services access shared VPC. I have a screenshot of my private connection above because I want to map some attributes to components in this diagram. The tenant project is the Google managed project that hosts the private services access shared VPC. The peered project ID is the customer managed project that hosts the peered VPC, in our case, MCA VPC demo, in the diagram, the customer VPC. Let's go take a look at what that looks like in the console. I'll navigate to our Google Cloud VMware Engine environment. This is the same private connection that I showed in the screenshot earlier. Let's go to the details of this connection. Earlier, I mentioned to take note of the subnet that was listed in the private service connection. Let's search for that subnet here. It's not in imported routes, but let's check exported routes. Notice this says subnet peering versus these other connections say dynamic peering. That's because this subnet exists in the private services access shared VPC, and the list of routes that you see represents the routes exported from the private services access shared VPC. Now let's move on to the Cloud SQL deployment. It's worth mentioning that we could deploy our Cloud SQL instance as a public Cloud SQL instance, but that's only recommended if you have applications that need to connect to a public IP for your Cloud SQL instance. In our case, We'll stick to the Cloud SQL private instance and access our Cloud SQL instance via private IP. So let's go deploy our instance. I already have one Cloud SQL instance deployed, but let's create another one. The deployment process that we're talking about today covers MySQL, Postgres, and SQL Server, but I'm going to select a Postgres server. I'll name my instance, generate a password, Select the appropriate region. In my case, my Google Cloud VMware engine environment is in US West 2 as well. If you need high availability, select multiple zones. In my case, single zone is fine. And most importantly, we'll drop down here to connections. And instead of public IP, we'll select private IP. When we do that, we'll have to select the right VPC network. In my case, it's this MCA VPC demo network. And as you can see, since my private service connection is already configured, I get a green check. Now that our Cloud SQL instance is deployed, let's take a look at the IP address that was provisioned. Notice that it's in the same subnet as the subnet we mentioned in the private services connection earlier. Now that we've deployed our Cloud SQL instance, let's connect via our workload in Google Cloud VMware Engine. 
I've pre-deployed my workload, but let's get the IP address. Now that I'm logged into my instance, let's see if we can ping our Cloud SQL instance. That's not working. Let's try a TCP connection. Notice the TCP connection worked, and we have around 2.5 milliseconds of latency to the Cloud SQL instance. Our ping test did not work because Google Cloud VMware Engine blocks outbound ICMP requests to public and Google managed services. Before we connect to our instance, let's create a new database. Now that I've created the new database, let's connect to our instance. I'll use the Postgres user that was created during provisioning and the demo DB database that I just created. I'll also use the password that I copied during the provisioning process. Now we'll add some information to our database. I'll create a schema and a table. And we'll add some data. And then we can select our data to show that it's there. All right, we're done. We've sent data to our Cloud SQL instance from our Google Cloud VMware Engine workload and reviewed all the components involved in the setup. You're ready to start testing in your own environment.